What's up guys, it's Todd Bullock from Hey Grill Hey. I know, I know, I'm not Susie, but today I'm showing you how to make Susie's famous grilled bratwurst. Typically you see me sneak in here and I'm a taste test Todd, but I'm going to attempt this recipe. I'm gonna show you how it's really done. All you need for this recipe is 35 minutes, 15 minutes to prep and 20 minutes to cook. Super easy. All right, let's get into this. Today what we have in front of us are some beautiful bratwurst. We have some sliced onions and some beer. We're going to make a beer bath with these yellow onions. Just to make everything easy for when we head out there, we're gonna put the onions and the beer in this aluminum dish, and then we'll head out. Something you might not know is uh, when Susie and I were dating, she was not really into brats. She was more of like a hot dog girl, so I had to convert her, and grilled brats is nothing better. These onions are soaking in all the delicious flavors. What these are gonna do is it's gonna be kind of like a holding bath in there to keep them warm for uh, her to eat when she gets home. So these are soaking, they're in the beer, we've got the brats ready to go, let's head on out to the grill. Okay, here we are. We've got the grill preheated, ready at about medium. So like 300 to 400 degrees and we've got it prepped for two zone cooking. Let me show you what that means. This is the direct zone, right over the flames, right over the hot coals. This is the indirect zone where we'll be starting out, no coals, not over direct heat. So here we go, we're gonna put them on the indirect side and they're gonna be here for, I don't know, probably like 10 to 12 minutes. Ooh, I can already hear them sizzling. Look, these need to go on too. We gotta heat this beer bath up, right? Boom. Okay, let's get this heated up over the direct while those are cooking. Now we just wait, because these need to cook for 10 minutes. What should we do? You want to play a game? I can dance. Thumb wrestle. Hey, there a thumb more. Tag team. Oh, no! <laughs> Let's check the brats, shall we? Give these a stir. Stirring the onions in the beer. Let's give these a flip. See where they're at. Yeah, it's probably too early, but it's okay. Like I said, brats are forgiving. They're about 75 to 80 degrees. We're going for about 150 to 155. So we're just gonna let them go a little longer. Okay, I'm impatient, we're gonna move them. You should probably wear gloves. I'm a tough guy, don't worry. Get them going. Right over the heat, there we go. They're singing, you hear them singing? We're gonna leave these on direct heat for about two minutes. Put the lid back on. Now we wait some more. All right guys, see that? That means those brats are cooking, I can smell them. Let's give them a flip, shall we? Ooh. All right, here we are. Remember, direct heat, what you're looking for. See how that char is starting right there? You're looking for char and snap. You want the snappy bite. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Ooh, it smells good. That's what heaven's like. Sizzly bratwursts. Oh, I'm so proud of you, little bratwurst. You're cooking along so well. So while these are finishing off, I just want to give this beer bath a stir. So the onions are starting to cook down a little bit. So what you're looking for is these onions need to be a little bit translucent and kind of like bendy. You don't want them crispy and too overpowering. Really soak in that beer flavor. So I'm turning these occasionally just to make sure they keep cooking evenly. That flavor is in the char, really. Okay, let's check the temperature. We don't want to overcook these. Susie would be so sad. Oh my gosh! They're done. They're at over 200 degrees. 
Into the bath. Into the bath. Hurry. 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 You guys, we were just having too much fun and I got distracted. That happens. It doesn't matter. Look, 155, 165 is your desired temperature, but they cook up so fast. They'll be snappy and delicious, I promise. These are ready to go inside. I'm going to dress one of these up with my favorite German bratwurst toppings. And I'm going to chow down. Let's go. Probably overcooked the brats a little bit. It's fine. It's totally fine. Don't tell Susie. What we have is some delicious sauerkraut, some stone ground mustard, and some buns. And toasted buns, not toasted buns, whatever. It's all gonna be delicious. Okay, brat and bun. We're gonna go ahead and grab a few of these onions. Yeah. Never too much onion. Next up, sauerkraut. I grew up, my grandma would make sauerkraut. Her family's from Germany. I would run away from the house and we pulled up to the house. The smell of sauerkraut just chased me away. But after living in Germany for a couple weeks, I learned really quick, I had to learn to love it. And that I did. I like crave sauerkraut now. It's one of my favorite things. It's vinegary, it's crunchy, tastes like cabbage. And it is just absolutely fantastic as a topper for any bratwurst. Okay, last step is this authentic Ingolhofer. This is an, a stone ground mustard. So it's, it's different than your typical yellow mustard. It's a little punchier. It's got some deeper flavors in there. It's really good. So good, you guys. Oh, hello. <laughs> what is this? I see food, I see lights, and I see cameras. I'm taking over. I made your recipe. <laughs> Did you make me one at least? No. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna let Todd make me a brat and then I'm gonna eat it. I hope you guys learned something from his instructions and <laughs> that when you make these brats, they turn out as delicious as Todd's did because these seriously turned out so delicious. When you make these, leave a comment, let us know if they worked out for you. I'd be really interested personally. <laughs> Even better, take a photo. Share them with somebody you love and post them online using the hashtag HeyGrillHey. That way Todd, well, Todd and I can both see them, but Todd can see if his instructions worked out for you at home. Tag me. Yeah, tag Todd, at Todd Bullock. <laughs> see you guys next time. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This really is a delightful surprise, for real. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Tell me what you taste. What does it taste like? <laughs> the brats are like, you get the crispy snap on the outside. Mm-hmm. And they're so juicy. And the onions like, just set it all the way over the top. They're amazing. <laughs>